Welcome everybody to this autumn equinox energy that we're starting to go right into over the next seven days. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, returning to the channel, friends and family of the channel, North Node Community Tribe member, welcome, 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 welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video so other people can be updated and so much more, and that others will know that we're here, okay? So I'm Ranita, the Ecliptic Spiritualist, and I wanna get into about four to five areas. So get a snack or replay this. We're gonna get into some key areas bridging us right into this autumn equinox or fall equinox that we like to talk about coming in. Now, I know today, as I made this video, I noticed a big, nice click in the weather here in Georgia. It turned cool immediately and it's bridging us into the fall. It doesn't mean it's going to stay cool, but we did get that nice little coolness to let us know that there's some change coming in. And that's a good thing. Change is inevitable, but we're so grateful to be here together to be able to see change in 2023. So we've made it through two seasons so far in this, this 2023. All right. So we've made it through spring, we've made it through summer, and now we're coming into autumn equinox. And we're going to talk about some, some key areas. I'm going to talk about what the autumn equinox is doing for us coming in this 2023. Then I'm going to talk about a lemon spell cleanse. We're going to talk about that. And that's going to include some pink Himalaya salt. And then we're going to do a brief reading, what the energy has to say to us about this autumn equinox. And then we're going to do some talk about uh, ancestor money right behind it, burning some ancestor money. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about what you can add to your altar space for this season. Okay. So I'm so glad to be able to come in with the new energy for this fall. If you are located, I do do everything by Zoom and live phone for readings, communication sessions, Reiki, ritual work, so much more. But I do offer um, the same services in person here in Georgia. I am located in the beautiful sought after area of the Vinings of Atlanta in the 30339 zip code, right by the beautiful stadium of the Braves. Okay. So come and see me. I would love to service you in person as well. You come and have a beautiful fall uh, drink with me with having tea, coffee, harvest season, have a beautiful aesthetic area just waiting for you. Okay, very beautiful and ready. So let me get into this autumn equinox. Autumn equinox is upon us in the next seven days. And we can feel this change from summer sun and the sea. Okay, so we have summer sun and the sea. And it has depleted a lot of our energy deposits. Comment down below if you can feel that depletion ending out of the summer. We've had a lot of energy. If you're not familiar or are familiar, I do talk about astrology. That is one of my jams. And so we've had seven, we have current seven planets in retro. I'm not going to get into that, but that has a lot to do with a lot of reset, reset and getting us ready for a, the age of Aquarius energy coming in. It's gently bringing us in, but that major switch is going to happen in eight, February of 2024. So we can feel we need to go with our endeavors, but it's not yet time to rest. We can get into our endeavors, but it's not yet time to rest. Okay. So, but step yourself into this harvest season of 2023. Our intuition grows stronger too in this harvest season. All right. All of us are in different spaces with our intuition. Some of us are new to the channel or came through doing Bailey's with me or understanding spell work or maybe did some ritual work or whatever you may have done with me or spirit has led you to this channel. Nevertheless, your intuition is your special gift that was given to you divinely as you transported your way into this earth realm. So you must work with it and, and it will bring a intuition height with this reset with ease. All right. Um, 
And it's always good with this reset to bring in more clarity and no, no one is beyond reproach with educating themselves with building their intuition. And building intuition into the harvest season is also getting outdoors, connecting with nature, but also taking time to understand yourself with journaling, pulling of cards, listening from within. No better teacher is the teacher of the divine energy that is gifted within you, okay? Uh, every season comes in for all of us. We have all the seasons come in for all of us for change, for growth, for death and transition. Death is a completion of something and then there is transition. And then it comes back, that life cycle comes again. But it, it moves out stagnation. Seasons move out stagnation. This autumn equinox is, is moving out stagnation from one season to the next. And this stagnant energy, it moves it out. And if you are working on your spiritual journey, which we all are, we should be, uh, comment down below where you are in yours. Here is a new start that comes in again for you and me. All right. Autumn equinox is a day, a magical day of balance between light and dark. The day, the element of the magical balance of the autumn equinox is brings in the element of water. Water reigns the world, Gia, the world that we live in, which is earth. We reside here. If you are a human being, you live within this body that contains you, okay? Your vehicle to travel on this earth. And it reminds us to examine our newly acquired experiences. Listen to our emotions and follow our what? Intuition. September the 22nd is when the sun enters Libra, which is the new zodiac sign coming in. And we'll be saying au revoir to Virgo season. And it is time to release, realize, I'm sorry, it's time to realize abundance that surrounds us and express our gratitude to the cosmos and the celestial and divine forces that nurtures each and every one of us. Okay. Yes, I use my notes. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. So I hope that you're listening and taking notes or put it on rewind. All right. So I want to move right into, um, in one second, I'm going to move right into the, um, the, uh, autumn altar. Okay. Now, you know, we're big on altars. If you don't have an altar, we strongly, I strongly suggest the North Node community, if you're on Patreon, join. We strongly suggest to have an altar space. That's your private space where you go and to be nurtured from your angels and spirit guides. It's your special place. Whether if you have a, a makeshift one, that's a little one that you pull up on your bed or you have a house somewhere and you use it, that's your special space and you put it back. Or if you have an altar room or altar space, altar, whatever that may be, the most importantly is have one. So we're talking about, I'm talking about autumn altar. One of the altar, autumn altar spaces or part of your altar space would be the corn eucopia. Okay, and it's C O R N U C O P I A. You'll see that representation looks like a horn, the horn of abundance. You'll see that some of those depictions on Thanksgiving here in the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., you won't see that. Sometimes you'll see the horn of abundance in different elements, but it looks like a horn. It's wooden, and it's called the horn of abundance. And it's a perfect symbol to use. You can put a picture up for it on your altar. Uh, that's what I'll be doing. If I can find the horn of abundance, definitely I'll show it to you on another video. Um, I'm kind of picky, so I want to make sure I have the, the right one. Sometimes you get it at your local spaces, markets in your area. Um, but if not, then I'll have a picture and then place harvest fruits on my altar. So you can always make it your own. There's no wrong and right. Make it your own. Put a picture there, but bring some harvest fruits and different things onto your altar. Um, but you can pick one up, like I was saying, at your local stores. But it reminds us the horn of abundance, the corn, your, corn yokopia, yokopia <laughs> gives us, reminds us of the wealth 
and the abundance that we have as soul traveling in a human body. It reminds us that we're soul traveling in a human body, okay? We nurture our bodies, we nurture our souls, and balance is restored during this time. Also, a white or black feather is great too. I didn't bring one in the, in the home office space here. It's in my altar space. So you can, you know, put a white or black feather on your altar space as well, okay? It's a nice reminder to you that balance is the best day. Balance is the best, okay? And also a great thing to incorporate on auto equinox is to go out and look at the sunset. It's a great day for viewing the sunset because it's like at this happy medium. And take someone with you to watch the sunset. You could watch it right from your home or wherever you may live, okay? It's a beautiful experience. It's very nostalgic. Uh, you could take your 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 partner, your friends, your family, your fur babies, your reptile babies, whatever it may be to sit out there and enjoy. And you will feel the love all over you with this water element connection. And you will feel the, feel the love of regeneration. Okay. And so it's a beautiful experience. You could do it on the 22nd or the 23rd of September, wherever you may live, and enjoy this beautiful sunset. Because we will be entering into eclipse season, starting with Taurus in a few weeks to come, okay? So I'm going to jump right into this lemon, uh, lemon pink Himalaya salt cleanse, okay? Now you can take your lemons. I'm just showing two. You use one. You take your lemons. You're going to need lemons, and then you're going to need... Uh, pink Himalaya salt, pink lemon hair, lemon hair, lemon Himalaya salt. Okay, pink Himalaya salt. All right, you can um, you can uh, alter with using sea salt, and to the least of it, you can use regular table salt, but preferably pink Himalaya salt. Uh, you can use sea salt or regular salt, but preferably what pink Himalaya salt okay you're going to cut off fours in your in your lemon so you're going to go here 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 and here okay so you're going to cut four cut fours in your lemons okay just one lemon all right so you're going to cut open all fours and then you're going to pour the himalaya salt over it all right and then once you do that you're going to sit it in your kitchen you can sit it in a bowl or a recycled glass or something like that. Recycling is very important. You can use one of your old candle holders that you may burn things out of and recycle it and sit it in there, okay? Recycling is great, okay? Sit it on your kitchen counter, all right? What will it do? It will kill viruses. It gives you a calmness. It calms your environment. It brings about balance in your home. It brings about synergy as well. And the house will be, feel very synergetic, synergetic balance. And it feels more cleaned up and it gets away stale energy. You can leave it out for a good, good few weeks and then change it out as you are guided. Okay. As you're guided. It's a wonderful lemon spell for your home with edging out the old energy from the summer and bring it into the fall, all right? And you know we love all things pumpkin spice in the fall. We're like pumpkin land people, okay? That's a big, a big thing today, all right? So, but that's not what we're doing with this. You know, you can do that. And so now we're gonna move into, so you know what you need to do. You got your lemons. And you got your pink Himalaya salt. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is pull a reading. So I'm going to pull three cards from the uh, from the message of the guides. If you want to connect with me for your autumn reading, uh, your personalized reading, go on and book it with me online, privately, as well, and so much more. Okay. All right. What's the reading for autumn? What is the reading for autumn? Thank you, Spirit Guys. What is the reading for autumn? If you hear it as Cola, the new puppy. Okay, thank you, Spirit Guys. And stop. 
wood is to read for autumn. All right. So we've got live your best, live your bliss. <laughs> live your bliss. This is what spirit is saying about this autumn equinox. Live your bliss. Take notes on this. Write this down. What is living your bliss? What is that for you? Have you been living your bliss? Have you been withholding living your bliss? Stay open-minded in this autumn energy. Stay open-minded. Okay? Let Stay open-minded. Ask yourself to have creative outlets come in for you. Whatever that may be for you. Okay? And the second one is... Love is your energy. Love is your energy. Okay? So take notes on that. See what how that resonates with you. See, and, and make sure you put it in your journal. Make sure that you're journaling. Okay? Make sure. Put down, I'm going to journal in this fall equinox. I'm going to journal through this fall energy. Put that in the chat. And I'm going to love your energy. Put that in the chat. And let me know, are you going to do the lemon spell? Okay. Next, we're going to burn that ancestor money. We're going to burn that ancestor money. Join our ancestor challenge that is on um, Patreon. Okay. We have different levels to Patreon. Okay. And just list, read the tiers and read the description of them. And then you'll understand what they're about. Okay, so I've got my handy dandy ashtray. You know this is less a teaser morte. And then we're gonna burn. We're going to, so make sure that you're burning your ancestor money. Okay, you roll it towards you. This is a big denomination. So we're gonna burn our ancestor money coming into this ep autumn equinox. Okay, very important aspect. We're doing this consecutively every day. Why? Because we want to clear out old things while we're moving into the age of Aquarius. We want to clear out old things as we move into the age of Aquarius. Okay? And so I want to put it in my safety dish here as she burns. Sometimes you got to light it a little more because depending on how high the note is. Okay. So I'm burning my ancestor money. And so should you. Okay. So we're doing that. And you want to make sure that you're doing it on a daily basis. Okay. Burn it on a daily basis so you're getting the, the result. All right, so have a wonderful autumn equinox, okay? You've got four great things to do with this autumn energy coming in with the next seven days. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe the videos. Make sure that you're signed up on the email on my website as well so you can get updates. I do offer personalized readings that will change your life along with spell work in many areas of your life. Uh, I do spiritual counseling, and lots of times we do, I do spiritual counseling, but I also do communicative counseling where you contact me and we just talk, okay? And we talk through things that you may need to express yourself. Some things you can't just talk to everybody about. It has any, nothing to do with readings. Sometimes you just need an ear to hear. And it's private and loving and taking time to hear you in a non-judgmental way. I do offer Reiki sessions, um, so many options that's available, spell work. Follow me here, follow me on Instagram as well. Drop down in the comments to let me know that you got a chance to watch this video. It helps to boost the video and also encourages me, all right? I'll see y'all later, bye-bye.